What's up, everybody? Typical Gamer with your daily YouTube live streams and more. And today, for you guys, I got a brand new episode of the GTA 5 Zombie Apocalypse mod, the series where uh, the zombie apocalypse broke out in San Andreas, in downtown Los Santos, and all across the land here. Trevor survived, but his family went missing. His wife and his daughter and son are all still missing, but. But throughout all these episodes, everything that Trevor's done, he's finally sort of gotten a big lead, and it's that the government, they're called the government now, uh, it's kind of the shambles of what used to be the government, uh, proclaims that they know the whereabouts of his family, so he is doing everything that he possibly can in his power to work with them, and uh, unfortunately work for them, because they make him do some pretty bad things, but uh, to work with them and to probably help locate his family. So, we're working with them. Uh, I always ask you guys sort of questions on what's going to happen in the next sort of episodes and stuff like that. So stay tuned for sort of those like big decisions. And well, the one that kind of led to this one was the governor or the government is who we're going to trust. And you guys chose the government because the governor was a really bad dude. He's still locked away in the prison, prison maximum security with agent blocking him so or guarding him rather. So nothing to worry about there. But last episode, as you can see, uh, we have another generator here. We have a bunch of stuff here. I don't know exactly where this came from. I guess people raided it. But uh, we also have over here our back office, which you're going to see. We added a lovely treadmill here so we can actually exercise and uh, stay fit. Uh, we have a couple more equipment, water, and of course our lovely... Uh, a lovely house kind of thing. Uh, it's not really a house, it's more of just a room, but uh, it, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. We got our weapons, our crafting table, our tent, and uh, basically everything we need to survive in this temporary home until we find our family. Maybe we'll bring them here. Who knows what we'll do. But anyway, guys, that's today we're going to be just uh, getting some supplies, doing stuff like that. So if you watch and enjoy this, make sure you smack that like button. Let's see if we can go for 20,000 likes. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I also wanted to note over here that uh, you will notice we have mechanic over there. And then we have the truck that we stole last episode from the Merryweather, uh, which is, you know, the mercenaries. They're still around and they're doing some counter-op stuff. But we got this truck and in that truck we pulled it off. There was this giant thing. Now, we don't know what this is, but the government wants it. We kind of want to know why. But, uh, I mean, if we, we just we don't know. Okay, wait. Hold up. Our radio is popping off. Uh, hello? Hello, Trevor. This is Agent Colt here with the government. Agent Colt. I haven't met you before, have I? No, we've never met. Um, but I'm just calling to say good job on everything you've done so far. And uh, we sent over some boxes with food and water as a sign of good faith. Oh, wow. You sent all this? We sent all of that over, yes. And you said you were with the government agent Colt? Yes. Interesting. And you gave weapons and medicine and everything like that? Yes. Wow, that's a pretty big sign of good faith. What, now, do, what do you got in this truck that, uh, that you need so bad? Okay, hold on. We're not quite done with you yet. Um, we're gonna need a few more things. You're gonna What do you to mean? Wait, hold up. You said I could get my family if I did these things Your for you. Your family is fine. Where are they? I can't tell you that now, but your family is What do you is mean? Fine. Tell your me where my freaking family is. Your family is safe. They're doing well. And uh, they'll remain like that as long as you uh, follow our instructions. I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? So we would really appreciate if you tr returned that truck with the sensitive material inside to the facility downtown. Which facility is that? Is that located the one near the docks? Yes. Okay. So once I do that, we're good? Well, I might need a few more things, but just do that, and uh, I'll keep in touch. We're going to have you carry out a few more missions so that we can move forward with Operation Phoenix, but to start off, we're going to really what need that, that What the heck is Operation Phoenix? I can't tell you that right now, but just bring me the truck, and we'll talk. Oh, boy. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's go ahead. So that was... What was her name? It was... Uh, Officer, no, it wasn't officer. Agent Colt, Operation Phoenix. What the hell is going on? I guess we gotta put this. Let's put this bomb or whatever this is back into the truck, and I guess we gotta go deliver it. Did you hear all that mechanic? That was crazy. All right, let's put this thing back in the truck. There we go, and let's go ahead and start this thing and get this thing moving. We gotta get downtown. We don't know if this is a nuke. We don't know what this is. Operation Phoenix. Hmm. What could that be? What do you guys think Operation Phoenix is? Let me know in chat 
We're just smashing this thing against walls and stuff like that. And I think she said that we'd have to carry out another mission for you. And I believe she sent coordinates for that too. So I'm assuming it's kind of one of those missions where you got to take everybody out and sort of um, take something back. Let, let's call her up one more time. Uh, a Agent Colt? Yes, hello, Trevor. Is this the best line to reach you at? Yeah, you can contact me here. All right. And, um... You had said that the, the mission I have to carry out afterwards, that's a infiltrate and delete, you could say? Yes. Okay. All right. That's all I need to know. Thank you. All right. We'll see you soon. All right. Okay. So let's get our way over there. Oh, boy. There's a lot of zombies. We got a lot, a lot riding on this truck here. Apparently, our family's safe and well. Again, I don't know how much we can trust this girl. So um, I don't know if that means a lot, but Do hopefully... We have her word that everything will go down um, fine if we do what she asks. Should we? Do you guys think that we should keep doing what she asks? Or do you think that we should... Maybe if we hold on to this truck, we'd have more of a bargaining chip. But I mean, if they have our family, I don't know if it would be the best idea to sort of play around. You know, I, w I wouldn't play around with my family. That is not a good idea. Maybe they have the best interests of everybody in mind. Operation Phoenix. Phoenix is be reborn. You could say the city's dead. Would you say that Operation Phoenix may be... May be... A cure? No. Maybe. I mean... They would benefit a lot from a cure, right? Right? That would make sense? I don't know. This is too much information right now. Let me know what you guys think in chat. In the comment section as well. This truck, at least... Besides having to deliver it... Um... It, uh, it, it at least runs over zombies, not even a little bit of a problem. So, that, that's good. That's good for us. There's a lot of zombies, too. And there's going to be a lot of zombies going back into the city here. A lot of people saying don't trust her. A lot of people saying trust her. It is way, way confusing. What am I to do? I mean, we have no leads on her family besides this. If we can get a bit closer, maybe do one more operation for her. And the government, maybe we can figure this thing out. And then maybe we can remove the middleman. We just want to ensure that we have the safety of our family as high priority here. And make sure that they come back to us alive and well. Hopefully they are alive and well. We know they're alive and well. Deep down, we can feel it. So it's just a matter of time before we see them. So let's get down here. And let's deliver this truck over to the facility. Look at this amphitheater over here. Jeez. Oh my so goodness. Sorry. Nothing can really stop this truck. I just want to throw that out there. Once this thing gets going, no amount of zombies would be enough to stop this truck. Oh. Oh, I really need this. Don't crash this. Oh gosh. Well, there goes the bull bar on it. There goes the bull bar on it. It's about to fall off. And we got to make it over to, I believe she had signaled that it was this facility over here. Now, if we leave it, somebody will take care of it. Oh, fudge. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. A little bumpy. A little bit of a bumpy ride. Kill her. Don't trust her. Trust her. There's so many different responses in chat right now. I mean, it may come to the eventually that we have to end, end her or end somebody from the government if we want to get our family back. Because it could be possible they just keep sending us on these loop-to-loops, which really amount to nothing for us, but everything for them. And we don't know what their plan is. So unless they really get us in on this plan, I don't know if it's the best idea to help them out. So let's keep bolting down here. Oh gosh, that's a tight squeeze. Oh, that's a real tight squeeze. We did not check the measure bit requirements for going under that bridge before we went under it. All right, let's bolt around town here. Shout out to everybody watching this. Appreciate all the support. Usually the series is on Friday, yes. But uh, lately, if you guys are fans of the series, you wouldn't, you would, gosh, how's that thing, how can I break it? Look at that plane over there. Oh, there's a plane. What the flying fuzz? Oh, no. Is it going to be fine? That's weird. Oh, there's two planes. They're escaping. They must be escaping, unless they were picking up people. Man, I would love to get away, but who knows what safe parts there are of, of sort of the world at the moment. To me, nothing probably seems safe. Alright, let's go here. Hold her at gunpoint. 
If we could arrange sort of like a meeting, that wouldn't be a bad idea, right? You don't think they have my family? Oh! Alright, the GPS is pinging, meaning it's really close where we gotta go. So let's go ahead and bring it to the facility over here. There we go. We have to park it in one of these hangars. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there better have a bunch of operatives here to take this thing because there are a lot of zombies here. Oh, boy. Alright, let's take care of these. I'm pretty sure they want this with no complications and we don't want to make them angry if they have our family. So let's just run over a few zombies over here. Okay. Let's just run them over one more time. Look at this. I'm just kind of having fun with this truck, actually. I'm going to be real with you guys. This thing is an absolute beast. Look, it doesn't even care that it's running over zombies. It doesn't move. It doesn't bounce. Oh, I hit a railing. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, I flipped. Okay, perfect. I guess we'll have to take him out with our weapons here. Meet her and kill her. Take her out. Trust her for now. I think trusting her for now is the best option that we've got here. Probably the only option that we've got. Alright. Let's go ahead and push this into that third hangar there. And then we gotta clear out these zombies from around. Oh. We gotta go through the other side. Did not know that. There's only one way in and one way out. This could be an ambush, actually. I venture to say it's not ambush, probably. We should just drop it in the ocean and be like, if you want it, it'll be in the ocean. Oh, because this is going to be very difficult to get in here. It's going to be very difficult to get in here. Holy shoot. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe we just leave it right here. I don't think we have what it takes to get it in there. Um, maybe we should call her up and... <laughs> um, okay, let's see. All right. Uh, Agent Cole... Hello, Trevor. Is the truck delivered? The truck is at the facility. Okay, what's the problem then? You sound a little, uh, concerned. Trevor? Nothing's wrong. Uh, some zombies are attacking it though. Should I take care of them? Um, if they're getting in your way, sure, but don't waste your time. Alright, now if the truck were to fall into water, would that be okay too? You have, no. you have SEAL teams that... No, the material inside, we don't want that getting okay. wet. So, you, you're going to take it off the truck, though, when you come, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, the truck's going to be here just fine, all right? All right, good. Um, just, I wouldn't try to move it. Okay. Okay? Sure. Thank you, Trevor. Okay. Well, I got to deal with this problem now, so uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, talk Bye -bye. soon. Bye-bye. Oh, you Let's take out these zombies. Okay, they're gonna... If they needed the truck, that would have been different. They're gonna take the material off the truck. Gosh, this thing is so loud. You hear that pinging? Let's take out all these zombies here. As long as we get some headshots, we should be good here. Holy fudge, there's a lot of them. I love the way this deagle looks, by the way. You all dead? That's it. We're taking out the lovely, lovely Lucille here. Lucille time! Boom! Are you dead? Oh, you're not dead still. Come on. Come on, get up. I wanted to do this thing again. Okay, now you should be dead. This zombie does not quit. How many swings to the forehead do you want? Bah! Still not dead! Stay down! Start beating it senselessly with this baseball bat with bar. This is more effective on humans, not zombies. Alright, I think we killed it. Oh, fudge, and then another one comes. Alright, let's take this guy out real quick. Alright. I think that's all we're gonna have to contact Agent Colt for today. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, let's take a... Oh, there's a car there, too. Okay, we can use that car. Oh, boy, that's... <laughs> that would have been a good thumbnail! Oh my gosh! That's a very unfortunate location for the package to be. Um, I'm sure they'll sort it out though. Let's see from the other side here. Do you guys think that'll be okay? 
I think it'll be okay. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. We just gotta make sure no zombies come and push it over, though. Yeah, that is so close to falling in. I'm sure they'll figure out. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that's the NASA mod as well that we've been using. Very intuitive, very powerful. Oh boy, okay, we gotta take out all these zombies still. This pinging is not gonna stop, by the way. Until we get out of the area. Let me take out this last guy here. There we go. And I think that's all the zombies we gotta take care of right now. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, hotwire this car here. You bet that she's lying. Everyone's like, maybe that won't be fine. Maybe she'll be mad if you don't uh, get it fixed. I think we're gonna be fine with it positioned there. You know what? She's she's bossy, so we, we can figure it out. First person works best. I think it does too. All right, we got this vehicle here. Now we gotta make our way back and she sent over some details of the next operation we gotta do. This one's apparently more intensive. So uh, it's gonna be quite more difficult, I think. Oh, fudge. Are you dead? I think it died. How didn't you die? Oh gosh, there's more zombies too. All right, they should be here soon anyway, so we shouldn't have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Now we gotta get back to our area, so we gotta drive all the way back. Let me squeeze on by over here. And then we have to gear up. Now, apparently we're gonna need some explosives. Is this, what is this over here? Is that a drop? Oh, that is a drop. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge, how am I supposed to get there? Um, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. Okay, because we need explosives. So, in her recommendation, she said that getting explosives from the Merrimether drop may be our best opportunity to do so. I don't think we're going to make it here in time, unfortunately for us. No, we're definitely not. Failed to retrieve crate. Okay, because we need some C4. So, we can actually get C4, which is modeled into the game. It looks really, really well done. And we need some C4 or to use a grenade launcher or a homing missile. Um, to go ahead and carry out that mission. Jeez, these zombies are relentless. Get the fudge off my car! Get the fudge off my car. Okay. Well, let's make our way out here now. If we can find a crate drop, that would be our best order of business. Unless you guys know maybe somewhere on the map where we could find some C4, some sticky uh, C4. Let me know if you guys know in chat. That would be really, really helpful. If you guys are watching this, you enjoy it, you want to see more Zombie Apocalypse mod, make sure you smack that like button in three, two, one, like spike. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this series every Friday still. I'm going to do my best to do it every Friday, but I wouldn't say that's going to be every Friday now because I do want to kind of do seasons of it. And uh, to plan things out, I need a bit more time probably. And I don't want to rush things. So typically, um, they may be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But they will be once a week. I will do my best to do that. And uh, I believe we should be in for a bunch more episodes. And then season one may be over. Does that mean there will be season two? That's completely up to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in chat. And let me know if that sort of the season one, season two, season three kind of thing is something you would look forward to seeing. Just like a TV show, you know, they've split it up for a bunch of reasons. And I think that may be best for the, uh, for the zombie apocalypse mod. Well, let's go ahead and uh, make our way over to, let me see. Some people are saying go to the ammo store. All ammo stores are locked up, like, indefinitely. Like, we won't be able to get into them. Holy fudge. That was a little bumpy there. Let's keep on moving here. Oh, there's a crate dropper here. All right, sweet. Um, is this thing dying? You hear it? This car is struggling to live. Oh my goodness. Get these. Uh, these zombies love hanging on to these vehicles right now. A lot of people saying season two. Now season two may follow Trevor, or it could follow a new zombie apocalypse person. What do you guys think? Or it could be based off the situation that occurs at the end of this season. It's all up to you guys. Let me know your thoughts. And thank you everyone who smashed that like button. Truly appreciate the support. Now the crate drop seems to be fairly close here. Oh, that zombie looked extra tall. That was creepy. Let's go ahead and make our way over here. Now if we go top down, we'll have the advantage. 
the advantage. I mean, it's still going to be a couple people versus me. Oh, never mind. I think the crate drops right there. I just cut the engine. Alright, I see it over there. We're going to have to go ahead and... Uh, we don't have much. We're going to have to use our deagle. Let's remember where this car is. Let's go ahead and uh, take the keys with us. To take the keys with us, we just go here and save. Okay. Let's go ahead and work our way over here. Now, I see the smoke for the grate. What wouldn't be a bad idea is if I launched the car as a distraction and then I took him out. Well, how many guys are there? I see two. All right. We have a vantage point up here. If I get the first shot off, it's really blurry at this point, but I think I can get it off. It might have just been two. Oh, fudge. Definitely not. Oh, gosh. There's a guy in the bush. I can't see. I'm just going to shoot some suppressive fire. I think I got him. I think I might have got him twice. Oh, there we go. I'm hitting him behind the tree. Oh, there's some zombies coming to me, too. All right. We got to get moving here. I think we may have taken everybody out. I think there's only three people. Let's go ahead and work our way here. Hoop. Let's go ahead and open up this crate. Boom. Okay. Uh, did we? We found a grenade. A grenade works. A grenade works. There's also a homing missile launcher here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, a rail gun. What kind of technology is this? What the flying fuzz? Does that take out the zombie if I stab from behind? That doesn't work. Okay, good to know. Oh, flying fudge cakes. I don't want to attract sound. Oh, fudge! I just took out the frickin' car tire, too, while I'm at it. Um, let me see if I can split this up a bit more. Um, okay, so it looks like I got a few different things here. I got a broken bottle. What was that explosion? Did you guys just hear that? Um, okay, so there's a rail gun, which seems to be some energy sort of blasting weapon here. Um, the bottle I'm gonna not keep. What else do we got here? Uh, the baseball bat, that'll be for the rail gun. Switchblade. Okay, well, one of the guys was clearly not with his squad, but he's here now. Um, I just heard him yelling over the hill. Some expletives. Oh, fudge. Oh, we just leaked him. Damn. All right. And then the Sam itch. What the flip is the Sam itch? Okay, railgun or the homing missile launcher. Oh, that doesn't have any ammo in it. Moron. Let's take him out. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna have to take the rail gun. I think it's compressed energy in a rifle. Should we test this thing out? <sighs> this thing is humming like a mother trucker. I don't think we have our weapon crate. Oh, we do have our weapon crate. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, let me give everything, I guess. That's the easiest way to do it. And let's go ahead and pick these things up. Oh. I like how I just pushed that thing along. Let's get it and react with this. There we go. And let's go ahead and pick that up. Yoink. And the bottle. Interact with that. Give all that. And then let's go ahead and get the rest. I thought I had used it on my base. You guys are always great at reminding me. Shout out to you guys. Okay, get that sniper rifle there. And I don't see any zombies on me. So let's just keep... Oh, fudge. Um, I'm not a jerk. I'm not going to let them get eaten by zombies. That'd be pretty savage of me. Oh, fudge. Assault shotgun. I really want to take that. Um, but I think we might have to wait here. Everybody's saying the railgun would have been the better choice. That's what I thought anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and drop these two off. And then let's go ahead and grab that shotgun. Because we don't have a weapon on us right now. We still don't have sticky. But we can we can make do with what we got right here. You're a waste of space on this earth. Oh, wow. They got dropped. All right. We got to get to base before nighttime. This is not good right now. We got to put this, let's put this in, and then let's go ahead and grab from our storage. Let's get the quick, 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 quick. We need something good. Do I just have a normal carbon rifle? There we go. Uh, let's get assault shotgun. No, okay. Bad. Don't get the assault shotgun. Uh, let's just get a pistol as well. Um, 
Just straight up. Can we get a heavy pistol? Pistol 50? Is it going to say pistol 50 or heavy pistol? Oh, we have 47 pistol 50. There we go. All right, that's what we're going to keep on us right now. Let's go ahead and pick this crit up. And then we shot the tire out on this, so we can't really take that. We got to take the old hunk of a vehicle that we have. Look at this carbon rifle, though. Look how freaking well-modeled and cool that is. Look at that. It looks like freaking battlegrounds almost. All right, let's just dodge that zombie. We don't got to mess with her. Oh, she's not going to mess with us. Oh, there's some zombies by our car. All right, looks like we're going to have to take them out. You are utterly ridiculous. Headshot. All right, let's book it. Let's book it. Let's book it. We can get out of here now. Shout out to everybody in chat. Appreciate all the support. You guys are watching this. You guys are awesome. Don't forget that. And uh, thank you for being so patient and waiting for this series to continue everybody asking about real life mod real life thug mod i have big plans for them guys i know i keep saying that but uh some things take time well, and they are gonna start soon trust me i got a lot of things in the woodwork and uh i, I don't want you guys to think that i forgot them shout out to nick clark who said um he's gotten to a car accident two hours ago and last year it's the only thing keeping mind off it bro sorry to hear that man i hope hope everyone's good shout out to you for that super chat and thank you for sponsoring friend welcome to tg Lee, man Best of luck to you, man. Good luck. Send him a positive vibes your way. Jeffrey Gomez and Civil War Soldier with the super chat. Civil War says, TG still loving the series and everything you do. Hi, Samara. Shout out to you, bro. Appreciate the support. Thank you very, very much. Oh, there's a crate there. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our way over there now. It's going to be nighttime, though. Do we risk it and go for it? Or do we just book it back to base? Nighttime is going to be bad. But we can get some sticky bombs and make our operation a lot, lot easier. A lot, lot easier. I think we should try to go for it at least. And see what goes down. See if we're on the bridge? Is it really? Alright. Let's book it over here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, they definitely heard that. Oh, they definitely heard that. Oh fudge. Oh no, I'm stuck but I'm stuck between a horde. I have to move for them. I have to move forward. I can't go backwards anymore. Oh fudge. This may be time to test out the rail gun. Oh fudge. Houston, we have a problem. All right, these guys are freaking Working on their their meals right now. We don't got to worry about them. Let's you loot this thing. That, we got seven items. I don't know what items they were. I don't think we have time to loot either. Oh, oh, one bit me. That kind of hurt. All right, let's see if we can grab this truck. Let's see if we can grab this truck. We should be good. We got seven items, so that's typically like bandages and stuff like that that we got. Let's take this thing off-road. Let's take this thing off-road. Oh, okay. A little bit rough going. A little bit rough. We got this, we got this. Stay on the road, stay on the road. Try to avoid the zombies at all costs. Except when we're two-wheeling. Might have not been worth it to avoid some zombies. Holy shoot, we're hammering it down right now. Alright, we gotta go through some. Unfortunately. Oh, this is so tough to control. Fudge, fudge! We're going off the road. Oh, gosh, that hurt. Oh, boy. All right. I think we avoided the zombies, though. I think we might have to take it on foot from here. That thing is not going to be going anywhere. All right, a little limp in here. We got to keep moving. We got to keep a move on here. We got to find another vehicle. Oh, boy. All right, do we have bandages that we can use right now? We have one bandage. We need to really craft some more. We need to get some other stuff, too. All right, let's make our way. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is there a way to go in here? Oh, this is bad. Oh, never mind. They can go in there, too. We do not want this. We do not want this. Do not want. We don't have that much ammo for this as well. Can we hop this fence? Hopping this fence. <gasps> There's a truck there. Oh, fudge. I ran out of stamina. I didn't want to do that either. I didn't want to do that either. Oh, no. We just called. 
all the zombies to our location. We need to get going right now. We need to get going right now. Please start. Please start. Please start. Come on. Oh my god. I thought it wasn't going to start for a second. All right. We got to get moving. Water. We need to drink water as well. We need to get back to base before we do any of this. Oh boy. This is not an off-road vehicle. It is going to struggle here. Come on. You got this, Trevor. Just a little ways to go. You're doing this for your family, buddy. You're doing this for your family. All the yelling. There's so many zombies on me. I know it. Holy fudge. They're all in a full-on sprint too. Nope, 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 nope. We're good. We're good. We're good. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Gosh. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it flipped. It flipped. We're good. All right. We're almost back at the bunker here. We avoided a lot of the fast-running zombies. Let's see if we can not go through here. I think we should be good. There we go. Bust through there. Oh, we do not want to take these ramps. Oh! Suspension on this thing must be messed up. All right, we just got to make it back to the bunker. Back to the bunker. Back to freedom. Freedom. We're coming for you, freedom. I think the bunker's right here, right? It's so well hidden that I don't even know where it is sometimes. All right, we're parking this bad boy in there. Here we go. Come on. Oh boy. All right. Now of course we have power up in here. There we go. Whew. All right, that was a little bit crazy. Um that was just one part of the mission that we had to do. As you can see the mechanic here has gotten a lot of new things. Sort of the brighter one, red one, seemed to be his new outfit, his new workshop essentially. Uh, where he can build and modify new things. He's working on a bike over there as well. We need to work on our thirst and hunger too. What's up, man? Uh, we are going to go ahead. We're not going to touch the supplies that, that were uh, delivered by the government. We're going to let everyone else have them. Uh, we don't have any cooked meat, do we? Oh, we don't have alcohol. Oh, gosh. We only have one packaged food. That's not good. Alright, I don't want to touch the supplies for everyone. I promised everyone they'd be fine here, so... Let's go ahead and make sure everyone's okay. Let's save this vehicle here. And uh, let's make sure that we can keep this for a very long time. Maybe we can modify this, make it a zombie killing machine. What do you think, mechanic? You'll take a look at it? Sounds good, bro. Alright, let's head back to our... Let's, let's head to our, our camp, essentially, and get a good night's rest. What's up, bro? As you can see, some people have been taking some stuff. What do we got here, though? We got uh, some champagne. Some fine champagne. Gosh. All right. And then we got a um, bunch of materials in there. We got, like, uh, morphine and uh, painkillers. A bunch of meds in here. Weapons out the wazoo. We got meds. Honestly, they treated us pretty right right there. I'm not going to lie. They're keeping their end of the bargain. I mean, that wasn't even in the bargain, so... We got plenty of people camping out here in the facilities before we make so, sort of more of a permanent enclosure for everybody. I don't know. The bunker is great. What do you guys think of the bunker? I think the bunker is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and open this here. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a little rest for the night. All right. So now for this one. What time is it now? Because we got work and our phone working and everything like that. Now, for this, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, there's not any room for any more. Oh, okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and give this to this right over here. Now, essentially, to do this operation, this one's going to be a little more tough. Now, there's not that many zombies in the area. So, zombies is not going to be our problem. The problem is there is a ton of Meriwether. Apparently, it's a secret facility in the forest at approximately this location and um we're gonna have to take care of it literally take it all down and explode anything that's left apparently that's crucial to them and crucial to operation phoenix whatever that is so we got to go over there and do that but we need the proper weapons i mean if we're going in there solo we don't want to bring anyone else we want to keep everyone safe if we're going in there solo we're gonna need some high powered weapons and to go as silent as possible. I think that is the best way of going about it. 
Um, so we're gonna need some like pistol. Let's get the pistol here. Uh, what else should we get here? Let's get the. We should just pick up. We should get everything that we know we can carry, and then drop everything else. Assault SMG. Um, we need. Is the rail gun here? Where'd the rail gun go? Do I have the? I don't have the rail gun on me. Do I? The bunker is GG. The bunker is pretty sweet. All right. Um, let's go ahead and interact with this and let's get the pistol 50 we can get the carbon rifle which slot does that take up real quick let's check okay, it takes up that slot I think that might also be the same slot as the um, unfortunately as the, the launcher so we're gonna have to choose wisely I mean we can bring it so we we can use it like situationally right so let's go ahead and let's get that grenade though where was the grenade at? We put a grenade in here. I know that. Don't make me look for it. Is it in the other box? Like, where the flip is it? Who the flip are you? Let's go over here to weapon scrape. Put this down real quick. I don't think it goes to different ones. Oh, it does. Maybe? Oh, it does. What the flip? I did not know that. So let's go ahead and get this grenade. And then we're carrying this one, so we should be good on that front. And I think we can carry a sniper as well. So we'll be able to carry a sniper. Let's not hold this grenade while we're doing this, though. I feel like that's a really bad idea. There we go. So let's go ahead and get, um, what was it? It was a sniper rifle, right? Was it the heavy sniper? Yeah, okay, we're going to have to get the heavy sniper. The heavy sniper is the only one that we can hold without dropping anything else. So, I'm going to get that one. And then let's go ahead and give in our regular sniper so that we pick that up. And then we should have most everything. I don't know what's in that slot up right, though. So, I wish I could get that because I honestly don't know what it is. Let's pick up this crate now. And let's go ahead and equip a silencer to this. A suppressor, rather. So, suppress that. We actually don't have enough materials to suppress anything else. So I really think that's a good idea to suppress a pistol. And getting a knife wouldn't be a bad idea either. But uh, we can basically roll with what we got now. Um, can we? What do we need to make a suppressor? Blueprint. We need one binding. So that should be really easy to, to get from zombies here. Let's go ahead and unlock this though. And let's go over here to the workbench. And let's get some... Assault rifle ammo. There we go. Oh my gosh. Not enough weapon parts. Mother trucker. Alright, so we got some ammo. Not too much. But we did get some. So I think that we should... Let's lock up our door here. Put all vehicles in the bunker. We should get the police car and stuff and put them in the bunker too. That would be a good idea. But we'll do that another time. Let's make our way out over here. We're going to do this one as a silent ops. We don't want anyone to come with us in case it gets really risky out there. Uh, the railgun we'll use, but we're keeping in our weapon storage in our backpack, and we will take it out when we need it. Which vehicle now should we take? I think we should take the weaponized Tampa in case things go really, really wrong for us. And I think that we'll have a means of escape and a means to take everything down with us if, uh, if things go bad. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make our way to the location all right the bunker exit perfect all right we're out and about now now the location is over here now we're shielded a lot by the mountain and stuff like that but we got to be stealthy stealth is of utmost importance now um they've marked several different locations for us here as you could see let me go ahead and take this one out uh oh you can drag them whoops i didn't know that i never knew that did you guys know that so they're all sort of in this location over here so that's where we're going to be headed to right now. And we have everything locked up. We're ready to go. Let's start making our way towards there now. So we can get this mission down. Oh, I am so Everyone's sorry. saying the Tampa is the best. Look how awesome the Tampa is. And if you guys forgot the power of the Tampa. Uh, should I give you guys a little? Let me give you guys a little reminder, alright? A little reminder of what the Tampa can do. You see these zombies over here? Murder fire! Oh my gosh, zombie, chill. That's what you got, zombie. Boop. 
There we go. See? Perfect. And then also we have, of course, the dual minigun. They won't hear any of this, so we can do this right here and be absolutely fine. I mean, when we get closer, we definitely don't want to shoot any zombies or anything like that. But zombies, again, in that area are very far in between, so... There we go. Look at this. And then, of course, we have, which will probably be the most useful to us, is the missile launcher. Which uh, will literally blow any opponent apart. Look at this. More zombies here. The dual minigun is, is the ultimate in zombie killing, though. I do have to say, we want to do this as stealthy as possible. Because then we won't have any risk of dying, essentially. Which would be really, really, really useful for us. The whole not dying thing would be really, really useful. Oh my gosh, there's an ambulance out there. Alright, that zombie was yelling like crazy. Alright, so let's get over there right now. Again, if you guys are watching and enjoying this, make sure you do smack that like button in 3, 2, 1, like spike! Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. And we're making our way over to this mission. Oh, that guy just ballerina. We got a hole in one there. Sunk the, sunk the eight ball to win the game. So we whip around these corners. This car is jacked. I love driving like this in first person. This is how you would actually see in it, so. A bit crazy. Oh, there's a biker there. Did you see that? Oh, fudge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. How do we take out those railings? That's impressive. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Well, they didn't say the road there would be not filled with zombies. So, let's go ahead and give these zombies a piece of our mind. Oh gosh, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place, aren't we? Alright, let's give these a little bit of our mind here. And then let's go ahead and show this guy our, what we got. Love is what I got. We gotta clear out this road, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you everybody for smashing the like button. Truly appreciate all the support. If you guys missed yesterday, I did an ARC live stream. We found... Bigfoot make sure to go check it out link will be in the description below you will want to see that if you are a fan of the arc series as I know many of you are oh there's a bunch of boats in the water oh gosh you gotta pay attention here oh, by the way, that's entirely your fault. I love how he points with his finger that's entirely your fault zombie we had no choice of being a zombie all right let's keep booking our way over here and you'll notice a lack of zombies in this area. It's just that there's no freaking zombies in this area. Oh gosh. I've trotted shits with more brains. Alright, we ran ourselves off the road. Let's go ahead and make our way back up. Should be fairly easy. Oh boy. Well, lack of zombies. And then you find the most zombies you've seen in the live stream. Would you look at that? Just look at it. Let's make our way up through here. Now this is an old abandoned supply tunnel. Which we can use to our advantage. It might be a good idea to store the car here. And then make our way on foot. What do you guys think? And I just want to say, if you guys are watching this and haven't already, make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And also, I think today will probably be the... Um, this might be the only live stream that I do today. So, uh, but if you guys want to know for sure, make sure to go follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash typical gamer. I just made a big FaceTime mode for a little bit. So, that's big FaceTime mode. Alright, we're going to make our way over here. And keep it going. You only have yourself to blame. And we will be there in a second. Oh, boy. Alright, we're not going to leave it in the tunnel. I think that might be a bad idea. Oh, please don't flip. Please don't flip. Oh, there's a bunny over there. There's a bunny, bunny, bunny. And we can be over here. And then we also have to load one thing. So give me one second here to load this up. I'm going to switch it to big face cam again. Big face cam time! It's big face cam time. Don't worry about nothing because it's big face time time. I'm just loading up some things. 
I'd rather just switch to my face when things are loading because it makes the game look really glitchy and then everybody thinks it's lag. It's not lag, it's just the game loading. So I don't want to confuse you guys. So that's why I make it big FaceTime. Tomorrow arc, probably tomorrow arc. Um, again, I'll let you guys know on Twitter and stuff like that. You can find that linked in the description below. All right, there we go. We should be good. And let's make our way over there now. All right. Here we go. Bunnies up here. Alright, so we gotta continue to go lower here. We're still not low enough. We're actually pretty fairly close to the tribe. We haven't heard too much out of the tribe recently, have we? We have not heard too much out of the tribe recently, which is probably a good thing for us. Now, their, their research lab, or whatever this is, their secret facility is covered by a lot of forestation. A lot of forest. Oh, look at that. Hello, tribe member! You naked pervs! You hear, like, war drums popping off over there. Alright, here's where we gotta be careful now. Alright, yep. Like I thought. Oh, gosh. Well, looks like all the wildlife didn't die off. There's still plenty of wildlife over here. Let's park it here. Actually, let's park it back here. Right in the shade. Okay. Now we got uh, plenty of weapons, munitions here. Let's go ahead and make our way up here. Now, for the sake of um, this, we're going to use our sniper rifle to scout a bit. Now, what I've been informed is that there's several towers throughout the facility that we gotta watch out for. A total of four towers, I believe. There's the facility there. Do you guys see that? Yes, yeah, a facility there, a sub facility there. And then. Let's see. Oh, you got a tower there. Another tower there. That's two towers. So we got intel on two towers. Nothing else. Alright, let's move close up to that rock there. Let's move a little bit closer. We gotta be stealthy about this. Again, there is far more of them than than us. We're just one. They have many. He's like a woodpecker or something. I saw the mountain lion here. That's like a one-shot kill. I do not want to mess with that thing. As we push up forward over here. Oh, all right, this is getting a little bit toasty here. There's another guard tower there. Ooh, I see some guards now. These guys don't look like Meriwether. They look far more military. Another outpost over there. Ooh. There's quite a few of them. Oh, I see the final guard tower there. Hidden in the forest. All right, so it looks like... It looks like the main, ah, uh, look, that's, that must be the main entrance, heavily guarded. And then we got the electrical grid over here, secondary outpost over there. This is a suicide mission. This has got to be a suicide mission. We gotta go ahead and make our way down. Let's do this. And we gotta be stealthy. We kinda look like one of them. So that might play to us in a positive light. We're gonna make our way down over here. Oh my gosh, the bunny just scared me so much. Uh, let's run down this hill. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. Zigzag over here. Alright, right behind this tree. Make a run for it, make a run for it. Yes, okay, they didn't see me. Okay. 
This is the part where we're going to have to be really, 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 really stealthy. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's two of the guys here. We may have just pinned ourselves down. As we're stealthy, stay behind the tree. All right, there's two guys right there. You guys see them? Now they're talking to each other, so we might have leeway to go around them. Watch. Okay. Let's try to go around them. I wish I had the prone mod. That would have been real clutch right here. Yes, okay, they didn't see me. Get this ladder here. We're gonna see if we can take this up without them noticing. If they do notice, we kinda look like them. Our gear is a little off. It's possible they won't notice me until it's too late. Use a knife? I don't think I have a knife. Oh, goodness gracious. How on earth are we going to do this? I don't have a knife. Is there anybody else here? Okay, that guy's looking straight still. Here, let's see if I can take this guy out first. Oh, there's two guys in here. I am so screwed. I think we're going to have to go. Oh, there's health here. Blend in. Blend in is not a bad idea if we didn't if we had C4 that would have been the option for us to do. Let's just look around the corner here. <laughs> I like that in first person. Whoop. Alright. I think we're just gonna have to spray them and wish for the best here. Oh gosh. Alright. I think they may have been alerted. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, me, just these guys were alerted. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Come on, come on. Oh, fudge. I'm pinned down. Alright, they still might not know what's going down. There's combat PDW here. Yep, they're definitely upset now. There's a combat MG there. Can I swap this for? Oh, look at this thing. I think that this is a little bit better suited for what's gonna go down here. Or should we go with the carbon? This one still has a lot of ammo. This is so bad. Okay, stealth fail. That's definitely a stealth fail. It's another one down. I mean, we can make our way up the top here. This tower is really good for us. Oh, fudge. We're getting shot at from somewhere. Feels like I'm playing freaking uh, Gears of War at the moment. I cannot see where this guy is. Here, let's look through this brush. Do you guys see anything? I'm about to use a grenade over here. Oh, oh I saw him over there. Oh, this dude's trying to take shots at me here. It is so difficult to see him. Okay, we're gonna have to go on the ground here. I think only this outpost is alerted right now. Yes, okay, they aren't alerted yet. Luckily, they only have silenced weapons, so... Really? I just fell off the freaking ladder. Just bro, stop yelling, please. I'll end this quietly for you. There we go. That went very sloppily for me. Um, we need to get a knife or something. We need to get a knife right now. Alright. So that did not go really well for us. We don't have enough to craft a knife, do we? Blueprint. We need binding. Please, please. We need to find binding on one of these guys.
What did, what did I just pick up? I picked up a... Oh. That's not suppressed, though, is it? I don't think it is. Okay. Um, that's two guys down. Uh, a knife. There we go. Alright, the assault SMG has to go. We're going to see if we can take this down the stealthy way. Knife only. Here we go. Let's run over here. And we have... Oh, we have quite a few of them there. Okay. They're all pretty distracted. Oh, fudge. How the frick are we supposed to take them down? Another crew down. This is getting way too risky, boys. I don't like the way this operation is going. We gotta take an outpost out at a time. That's the only way we're gonna do this. What the flip did that guy just say to me? Right, here we go, and. There's another squad down. Oh, they got special carbines. I'm just gonna take their ammo. Okay, it would be a good idea to neutralize all the outposts before we go in. Our stealth rating's going up. Alright. Let's work our way down here. Look at these deer over here. Oh my gosh, it's, oh, fudge cakes. Okay, we're literally right under their noses right now. Okay, nobody's looking here except for this guy here. I got an idea. Be quiet. Be quiet. And the last one! I can't believe that actually worked! Holy shoot! Okay, well we took out a bunch there. You could actually do it very stealthy if you go and do it properly. Oh. Okay, that outpost is looking at those guys. We gotta go all the way around to kill those guys. Let's run our way down. Again, at a distance, we look fine, so we can use that to our advantage here. Let's keep moving here. Where was this tower? Oh, the tower was there. I don't want them... Like, if there's a full-blown alert, then we're screwed. But if we keep it... Um, if we keep them just sort of stuck to their own areas so that nobody notices, we'll be okay. Are they running in supplies? And that's going to be night soon. Right, let's go through here. Take one po outpost at a time. It is a good plan. All right. Alright, this one should be good. Alright, now they're actually not looking in this direction. That guy is distracted over there. So as long as we take him out one by one. Good night. This is all for my family. You do not mess with Trevor and his family. Alright, they got some trucks there too. We can use that to our advantage. Alright, this is one of the outposts we're gonna have to take out. Let's just make sure that there's no presence over here. This is awesome. Dude, M Trevor is going hard over here. Alright, let's just walk by here. This guy will see us again. He'll probably think it's nothing crazy. Because we look like we work here. Nothing crazy here. That guy sitting down is going to be a big problem. Let's get this right guy first. I blend in so perfectly. Oh boy. Um, this guy's going to radio everyone if I don't do something about it. You. Shh. Don't say anything. You hear me? I don't want to shoot you. Alright? If you do anything. You hear me? 
Radio in anyone, you will die. Shit! Do you understand me? This isn't a joke. This is not a joke. I'm not playing games. All right, stop yelling. If you yell one more time, I'm sorry. This is it for you. You hear me? Don't do it. Shit! That fucking showed you. That is a lot of blood. Holy fudge. Alright, okay, unfortunately we have to do what we gotta do. Let's push up to the main tower here. Alright, that guy's taking a smoke. We can take out the other guy first. Oh, you give me eyes. Oh, that guy did not go down. Oh, now they know that we're here. Now they know we're here. Alright, this is the facility here. We gotta make sure everyone's taken out. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Move on through, move on through. Take out everybody involved. Here I come! Alright, that guy's down too. Alright! Take down all these guys. Me. What is going on here? My goodness. They've got weather patterns here. S the spread of the infection. By wind? What is this? There's a map of Los Santos with specific locations here. The hotel is marked. That's where my base was. Yes. What is this here? There's a lot going down that we don't know. We gotta explode all this though. Once we do that, we're gonna have everybody in this facility on us. So we gotta hightail it out of here. All right, let's set up properly then, because we're gonna have to make an explosion of explosions to take everything out. Now we gotta blow up every single uh, sort of beacon up there and everything inside as well. So let's go ahead, let's take out a grenade, but then let's throw down the weapon spray here so that we could have everything we need to sort of finish the job. You know what I mean? We need everything. We have. We need to have everything to finish the job essentially. Oh gosh, my thirst and hunger is really down. Let's go ahead and, um, homing launcher, please. Uh, rail gun. Okay, we'll use the, we'll use the homing launcher to start things off here. There we go. Alright, let's get this started. You guys ready for this? We need a like spike, ladies and gentlemen. Like spike in three, two, one. Like spike. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we took out a few of them. As you can see, let's go ahead and huck this grenade over here. Huck that grenade. I should take out. Oh, yeah. Those those are taken out as well. Look at all the smoke pillowing from them. Oh, most of the facility's power has gone down. Let's go ahead and huck this in here. There we go. Work our way out of here. Oh, everything's going down. Look at this. We are blowing it up. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this rail gun now. There we go. And let's go in here and let's finish the job. So we're going to go ahead. As you can see, you can blast this wall apart. Oh, it's setting on fire. The inside is going to be gone. The inside is done -zo. Oh, that is a dope screenshot. Look at that. With all of the rhubarb popping out. Everything going on fire. Alright, let's make sure that all of these... These little things are popped. We need to make sure all of that's taken down. Let's, oh, gosh. Something else just exploded in there. Probably another power generator. Alright, those are all taken down. Which means we just need to take down... This over here. That has exploded. And then we just need to take down that power station there. There we go. Radar dish down. That's going to go offline. There we go. Oh, I can hear someone. Shoot. They're calling him backup. We got to get going. Oh. Oh, things are exploding in there. That is... Should we just... Do you think we did it? Oh, gosh. We should go in there and verify. I don't want anything to explode on us, though. Let's go in here and verify everything's taken down. Holy fudge. We just annihilated everything in here. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's get out of here. Oh, fudge. People are shooting at me. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. They're getting some shots on me. They called in backup. I gotta use this. I think I took him out. I think I took him out. Oh, no. There we go. They got taken out. All right, we gotta get out of here now. We gotta get out of here ASAP. Oh, fudge, I hear somebody. Oh, we gotta get our weapons crate. Where was this other guy shooting me from? Everybody heard 
everything now. Look at these pillars of smoke popping off. Oh, there is a command outpost here. Oh, fudge. I did not see that. That was not in the brief. That is not in the brief. Do they have health? We gotta get out of here, though. We gotta get out of here and get back to base. We did everything they wanted. Let's blow that up. Boom. All right. Everything's got taken down. Let's see if there's health real quick. They have computers and stuff here. No health, though. Let's book it out of here. Oh, they did have health. There we go. Let's blast that away. Let's get moving here. And make sure that we got everything that we needed. Look at all the smoke pillowing. I think we can take out that dish, too. That dish is important that we take out. Let's just make sure we remove that before we go. There we go. You ain't transmitting nothing now. Oh, maybe we can... Oh, there we go. That dish is down. We gotta take out the tower dishes as well. I forgot. There we go. Another dish down. We only have seven more shots here. There we go. That's a big one. Alright, so that's one, two, three. We took out three. That one may take a few more shots. We destroyed the integrity of it. That'll be fine. Alright, last one. Last one. Last one. Dish is down. Alright, let's book it out of here. We need to keep a shot for... Look at that dish on the ground. We need to keep a shot for our truck as well. All the smoke pillowing from it. They are going to be very upset that this just went down. We got to get this crate too. Let's get over to the crate. Let's get it moving over here. Thank you guys for almost 10,000 likes. Shout out to everybody in chat. Appreciate all the support. Everybody watching it in general. Shout out to all you guys. Do we have... Where's our crate at? Did we pick it back up? I think we did. Oh, oh no we didn't. Did we? We might have. We might be right on top of it. I think we did pick it up, though. We did pick it up. Okay. Let's get our weapon crate out, though. Let's drop this and throw everything else in. All right. Um. Quick, quick, quick. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. Uh. Give. Railgun. Give. Uh. Homing launcher. And then pick up our carbon rifle. And then pick up the box. And let's hightail it out of here right now. ASAP. We gotta get going. All the dishes are down. We are good to go. All right. Real quick, as we move this car, get it going. Oh, boy. Okay. There we go. We're moving it. We're moving it. We got to get back to our vehicle. And then we got to take this thing out. Back to our vehicle and then take this thing out. Oh, fudge. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, the zombies have definitely heard all the explosions. They're coming in hordes over here. Oh, the remaining guys from Merriweather are going to have one hell of a time trying to escape out of there that was like the bonus to it all oh gosh they're all flooding me we gotta get going right now come on get it moving truck we're gonna block the way up too in case they want to try to follow us oh no it doesn't look like we're gonna have to block the way up our vehicle can't even get up here oh boy all right we gotta do what we gotta do. I gotta get my eyes checked. Oh, this truck is not gonna make it. We gotta leave it. We gotta ditch it. Ditch it, ditch it. Oh, shoot. Oh, we don't have anything to explode it. Mother trucker. That's it. That's we need to take it out. We need to explode this or else mission's not complete. We do not have anything to explode it. This is really bad. Holy fudge. The Tampa. We can get the Tampa. Let's move it. Let's move. We gotta get to the top of the hill. Holy fudge, do you hear their screams? We gotta get water as well. Clean water, we got clean. Oh, fudge! Stop drinking! Stop drinking! Eat it, no shirt guy! Okay, we gotta get the Tampa. We gotta get the Tampa right now. I'm more. Gosh, there's so many. Keep moving, keep moving, keep running, Trevor! Get back to the freaking car! Alright. We should be able to get in. Whew, that was close. All right. Let's take care of business, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness gracious. That is a lot of zombies. All right. Let's finish this thing. It went through the side of it. There we go. Hasta la vista, my friend. Another one bites the dust. All right, we're going to have to take an improvised route down here through these zombies. Oh, fudge. Maybe not a good idea. Maybe not a good idea. We're going to have to cut through the forest. We're going to have to cut through the forest. 
Let's give one more shot for good luck here. Oh, we took one out. There was still a guy in the tower. Holy shoot! They're firing rockets! They're firing rockets! We need to get out of here. They called him back up. Holy fudge. There's still more guys here. Okay, that was not good for them. They did not see the zombie horde coming as well. We need to get out of here right now. They're firing rockets and shooting at me as I escape here. Oh, fudge. Book it, book it, book it. We gotta leave. We did what we came here to do. Operation, Operation Phoenix can move forward. Risky. Risky. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. No, no, not the door, not the door. Please don't lose the door. Oh, that was epic. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, we lost our hood. Fudge. We needed that. That's a lot of protection we had on there. Drifting! The ro oh, gosh. Oh, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. The mechanic did a fine job making sure this thing... Anti-flip technology. AFTs. Any dishes that I may have forgot... They can't really function without everything else. So we, it was just a precautionary measure to take out the rest of the dishes. So we're good on that front, don't you worry. Even if we missed one or two. I don't think we, we missed maybe one. Probably, I don't know if we did actually. Let's make our way back though. We are going to be a wanted man now by Meriwether. If we did, weren't already, we definitely are now. Eat mortar zombies! Oh, that, that one was a far one. All right, let's book it. Let's book it. All right, that was far too intense. We got to get back to base now. We got to get back to base now. Hopefully, this means we can finally get to see our family. I mean, we just went on a suicide mission. There was no chance that a regular person could take on that many people. We enabled some stealth, some raw power. To do what we had to do to take out Meriwether. Which we already know is not the good people here. But we don't know if the government's the good people here either. It's not... It's, again, the government is the name of the, the, the... The sort of the company that's operating. And they call themselves the new government, right? So... We don't know 100%. I mean, it's made up of some previous government people. But nothing official or anything like that. Oh, there it is. Oh, we just passed it. Woo! Drifting! Alright, let's book this back in here. Let's call up Agent... Let's call up Agent... Uh, what was what was her name? Col Not Cole. It was Agent... Uh, Colt! Agent Colt! Agent Colt! Radio silence. How did I know that we were going to do something for her and then she wouldn't be there? She said she'd be in contact when everything's good, though. So I assume when everything's good, we will be okay. Now, did we get any cooked meat? We need alcohol. That presents a problem because we don't want to take from our stash. Not even a little bit. So we're going to have to go ahead and take out some zombies. Wait, wait, wait it's nighttime. Eat, sleep, wreck, repeat. For real, though. We did it, though! We actually did it! We took them out! That is absolutely insane. That was a lot that went down. Um, that was not normal circumstances for someone to take out that many people. So Trevor is an absolute legend. That's what he is, and he would do anything to save his family. What an absolute manly man. Let's go ahead and get over and find some alcohol so we can eat food. Or else we're not eating because we promised ourselves we wouldn't take any supply from any of our survivors here. So let's go ahead and wreck some zombies real quick. Mechanic can fix this thing in a second here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not too many zombie bits get stuck in the vehicle. We just need to plow through a couple of zombies. There we go. Look. The closer they are, the better though. Like these are relatively close. Then we can loot them all at once. That would make our life easier. These guys too. We can keep them here and then loot them.
There we go. Oh, and these guys too. Why not? Let the minigun help fire! There we go. Alright, perfect. We have the meat. We just need alcohol, which is not a very rare resource. Most people here have alcohol. Probably. Hopefully. We just need to raid them a little bit. Let's keep moving over here. Okay. A few more zombies here. And we should be good. Before the birds get them. We need to loot everything they got. Come on. Two more. The desert is near. The desert is here, man. Cook meat. Okay, perfect. We have... We have two. Alright, so we can make one cooked meat. That should be enough for us, though. Alright. That's not it's not going to be enough, but we'll make do because we don't want to take from their supply. Looks like the car is crying. The car is not doing so hot. The car took a lot of damage, and I think it ate an RPG shot. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think it actually ate an RPG shot. It's kind of impressive, actually. There we go. Let's loot the rest of these real quick. There we go. And then those final ones over there. We should be good. I love when it says plus six resources. My eyes just light up. You know you got all that good good. Let's see. Uh... We have, oh, we have, we got five alcohol from there. We just need a bit more, make this meat sanitary. And then we should be good on everything else. We don't have to worry about these walkers. They're not too much of a threat. Picked up that fire, right? Oh, look at that one. Guts like spilling out there. That's no bueno, man. No bueno. All right, let's go ahead and... Send these guys here. Take their you stuff. Me want a we'll make it easy. We'll kill and then loot them. You're dead, dead, there we go. Dead. And you too, sir. There we go. They love sound, don't they? Shooting them attracts more. Let's go ahead and put down this campfire. There we go. And then let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, fudge. Ah, I set myself on fire! Okay, we're good. Oh, no, we're not good. I'm just chilling. Oh, my gosh. Dude, dude. All right, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. There we go. Simple fire tactics, bro. All right, let's go ahead and make some cooked meat. There we go. Let's eat two more. Drink some water. And there we go. Let's eat the last one. We're going to have our full. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it like that. You don't got to eat till you're completely full. That's all right. All right, we're going to bring this in for the mechanic to take care of now. It's had an epic day of being awesome. I'm so glad we found all the parts for this or else half the stuff we've done would be impossible. So shout out to the Weaponized Tampa. Shout out to all you guys in chat for the incredible support. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Zombie Apocalypse mod. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. We just hit over 10,000 likes during, during the live stream. So shout out to all of you guys for your incredible support. We're waiting for um, Agent um, Colt. To get back to us but we don't know if that's gonna be this episode so uh what do you guys think should we keep on trusting them do you think we'll get see your family up next episode let me know what you guys think and uh shout out to a bunch of you guys who super chatted appreciate the support we have ian mansfield chris kuthin tg about time but winning all day what's up from the 989 huge fan of this mod keep it up shout out to you chris i'm sorry to keep you waiting man hope you enjoy this episode and thank you for that super chat my friend we also have benald whole fun full fan and donald just shout out to you guys we're gonna do twitter shouts now as as well twitter.com slash typical gamer link will be in the description below if you guys want to follow me and uh, get in on this retweets before the live streams i always post them over 600 retweets absolutely insane again i don't know if i'll be doing them every friday still but i will try to be doing them every week um because i do want to bring sort of seasons to this mod which i think would be a lot of fun johnny x been watching you since two mil subs first time watching live keep it real johnny shout out to you bro welcome Welcome to your first live stream, man. Appreciate the support. So we got a bunch of super chat or uh, retweets over here. We got the Steel Tiger Gaming Vlogger, Kieran, Cam, 
uh, Muk Adir, Noel, Ben Boston, Robert Coleman, Yeshvir, uh, High Power HP, Sean, Mr. Piggy, Typical Bacon, Ultimate Gamer, YT, Celine, Jeffrey, Rainbow, Ethan, Ethan, Braddy, uh, we got Deshaun, Christopher, Marshall, Ice, Drake, Joey, Aaron, uh, Leslie, CJ, Nicholas, Typical Waffle, uh, Typical Serenity, uh, Dank, uh, we got Carlums, David, Valerie, uh, Typical Blue, Roshan, Mahadir, Ishmael, Adi, Noir, Nicholas, Zach, Tanishk, Tyler, Trey, Cool Gamer, and everybody else shout out to all you guys for the amazing support. If you guys are looking forward to ARC, that is probably going to go down tomorrow. Any suggestions you guys have, leave them on the last video I did, which was the Finding Bigfoot. And if you're bored, you want something to watch now that you finish this one, I'm going to have a link in the description below. Or just click on my channel, and I'm sure you haven't watched all my live streams. Trust them. I make them all so you can watch them again. So uh, be sure to go check them out. Team TG, you guys are the best. I'm going to talk to you guys over on Twitter, so make sure to follow me. And um, then we can tweet. And then we can... And then you can know when I'm going to do videos and stuff. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications uh, with the little bell. And that's going to be wrap for this week's episode of the Zombie Apocalypse Mod. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel like we are one step closer to Trevor fi finding his family. And I feel like that's a good thing. So that's going to be wrap for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And peace out.